well. I just wanted to do a quick review and a mini tutorial on the look that I'm wearing now with the all new nude blush palette from Burberry. So obviously got your Burberry box that this comes in. It comes in its own little pouch, like a little velvet pouch. It's got the signature kind of like monogram Burberry print on the pouch as well. Then you flip it open and in here is the palette along with three cute little bare boot brushes and which have their own little section you've got three brushes so you've got a sponge applicator which looks cute and looks great but let's face it what do these sponge applications do every time i get a sponge applicator i'm just like yeah great what am i going to do with it if you like sponge applicators please comment below and let me know maybe i'm completely wrong anyway moving on to the next brush how ungrateful am i I have a really cute little fluffy brush which is great for touch ups and um, not so great with the blending but it's good for just like applying the shadows on and then you've got a really good actually little angled brush which is great for lining the eyes so and that would actually be quite good with a gel liner I think. Then you have the palette which in the silver case and you have like the magnetic opening so I just love opening and closing this because it's just kind of like magnetic so it's just like this and inside you have a mirror the palette here which is just beautiful they are nude blush colours light to dark and with these four colours you can do an everyday makeup look so I would probably use just those two or three colours for an everyday makeup look or you can add the darkest shade which is like this plum colour deep plum colour here to smoke out the eyes. Colours go on so smooth, like they feel so smooth when you put them on and they are very pigmented but I've been using it for about two weeks now and what I found is when you first put the colours on it looks very, you don't, it's like the colours get more pigmented after a couple of minutes after you put them on. All I would say is don't kind of think oh nothing's showing up and just keep layering it on because after a while you'll come back when you finish maybe doing the rest of your face or you'll come back and you'll be like whoa they're very very long lasting I mean even though this little palette is so compact along with the brushes and the mirror you can just slip it in your handbag for touch-ups if you want I have not had to touch up the whole day it's got pink undertones so the colors do warm up your face but it's also got kind of like cool pink undertones so more, probably more like purpley pink undertones which makes it a amazing winter palette i mean you know i think this is just going to be my go-to palette for winter i absolutely love it so now i'm just going to quickly show you a quick tutorial mini tutorial on the eye makeup that i've got on today using this palette as you can see this eye is done and this eye is not so this eye even though it's done it still looks really kind of natural and nudish like i haven't made too much effort but i haven't made too much effort but i've used a really gorgeous product so to me that's effort so i'm just going to show you what i have done on this eye and i really really love this look i'm just going to use a primer just so i just i just prefer to use a primer always i'm just going to use my mac paint pot in the color painterly all over my eyelid I'm going to take the palette and I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush, put the lightest shade all over my lid, right into the corner, going up to the brow. That's so that's kind of just like the base. Then I'm going to take just a flat eyeshadow brush. This is just a MAC one. My number has rubbed out because the number's so because it's so old. And I'm going to take the next colour along which is kind of like a nude with a pink undertone and it's got a slight shimmer to it so I'm just going to press it into the middle so we're just going up to the crease in the middle but not on the crease then I'm going to take a slightly bigger crease brush and I'm going to take the next colour along which is kind of like the mauve and I'm going to just put that into my crease a little bit on the outer corner just to give the eye some depth and go back and use my fluffy brush and just neaten up that edge and just blend it in. I'm then going to take my flat eyeshadow brush and just 
dip that in to the mouth, just the edge. And just on the tip there, just darken my look, just put this mauve colour along my lower lash line to give the bottom of my eyes some definition. I'm going to take a petite crease brush, and this is the 231 from Zoeva, and I'm going to take the final shade in the palette, which is the darkest one, just there, on the tip, and just put it along my outer crease and the outer corner of my eye. Just on, my, just on the outer, like, just above the lash line, just darkening that area, and just on my crease. Obviously, if this was more of an evening look, you can really build up this darker colour. If you want to go kind of like full on smoky, you can really build that colour up. And I'm just going to take the blending brush and just blend that up and blend it. A really nice black eyeliner it looks so nice against kind of like the pink undertones. I just really love that look. So I'm just going to use my Soap and Glory Super Cat Fat Liner. Eyelashes with this look and really dress it up for an evening look. It would look very shallow cold. For my waterline, I'm not going to use black with this because I just think black would look too harsh. So I'm going to take a Urban Decay 24 7 Glide on. I'm using the colour Twice Baked, which I believe is from a gift set. So the closest colour to this would probably be Hustle, which is a really nice dark enough to add definition, but it doesn't look too hard. It doesn't look as harsh as black. And obviously, these pencils just last all day. I'm then going to take a small angled brush, this is just a MAC one, and I'm going to take the darkest colour in the palette, take that on the brush, and I'm just going to go along my lower lash line. I'm going to take a petite crease brush and just make it out ever so slightly so it just looks a bit more natural. That's the look pretty much. I'm just going to add some scar. I'm just going to use my little sample of Their Real by Benefit. Some of my NARS Deep Throat Blush because I think this is really nice soft pink blusher. I'm just going to go with this look. I'm just wearing a uh, nude lipstick, which is my everyday shade Brave by MAC. But you can use brighter lipsticks, maybe with like a pink undertone, just to match the eyes a little bit. But I just love this look. I just think it's such a nice for date night, for dinners, out for drinks. I just think it looks so sophisticated and just grown up. And it's like you haven't tried too hard and you've just literally just used four shades, all from one gorgeous palette. So like I said, this palette is just... I just, you know, I absolutely love it. So on my lids, I used this kind of just very nude colour. I don't know if you can see that. It's just literally the same colour as like your skin. Then there's the shimmer, which is there. I don't know if you can see it very well. I will do swatches and pictures on my blog and link it all below. But that's what I use. It's got a slight shimmer. So I use that kind of like on the centre of my lid. Then I used this really gorgeous mauve colour, which is again matte and I just use that in my crease and then to finish off I use this gorgeous velvety plum kind of tone and that can be used to like smoke out the eyes into the crease you can use it and I used it to line the lower lash line as well so that's the colours in the palette and I hope you like it and during this tutorial I don't know if you've noticed my navy nails which are also part of the Burberry collection I think this colour is called ink blue and it's kind of just contrasting you've got like very you know simple makeup and nude colors on your face and you have like dark dramatic nails which is something i don't ever do this is the first time i've ever worn a color this dark on my nails i never do but i am actually liking it i'm a sucker for navy i absolutely love navy makeup you guys will be the first note of a navy polish makes it to my monthly favorites
I hope you like this tutorial. Please give me a thumb, big thumbs up. Leave any comments below. Let me know what you think of this palette. If you've tried it, if you love it as much as I do. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and check out my blog, secretstylefile.com for all details and full review on this palette. I'll see you back here soon. Bye guys.